Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. One day, as I was rummaging through some of my old notebook pages from last year because I was looking for information from that time, I suddenly realized that I still had a lot of stuff, content, left inside the pink Franklin Covey planner binder that I used for several months until about the end of 2018. I knew that there are still important stuff left in it that I have not archived yet, so I decided to empty out the entire planner and do it on camera. And here it is, one of my favorite planner binders of all time. This is a compact-sized Franklin Covey with 1.5 inch rings, or 40 millimeters. It is a salmon pink color with a black strap and black inside material. It is a gift from my friend Deborah, and I call this planner binder Audrey because the color combination of salmon pink and black has that 1960s vibe to it and it reminds me a lot of Audrey Hepburn, one of my favorite actresses. In the secretarial pocket is a bunch of stuff and in the card slots, I just have these cards that used to hold two SIM cards and we don't use these cell phone numbers anymore. And in that sheaf of papers from the secretarial pocket, I saw that I still had old journal entries that got separated from the rest of the journal entries for some reason. And I also found some personal sized but unpunched Tomoe River paper sheets that I use for journaling. These sheets are ordinary cream colored paper that I use as ink blotters for when I write in my planner pages with a fountain pen and have to turn the pages over immediately. Next, I have these movie stubs for a horror movie that I watched with Jawaid during that horror movie film fest in 2018 in our city, and a receipt from the fabric store for the curtains that I made, which I also made a video of. This is already starting to get very interesting. This is a receipt for the materials that I purchased from a hardware store for when I had my bedroom in my parents' house renovated. And here's another receipt from a different hardware store for the same bedroom renovation project. And this is the receipt for, I'm not sure if this is for the two chests of drawers in my room or in Chandler's room. And here's another receipt from the fabric store and a receipt on thermal paper that had already disappeared. And this is the business card from the woodworker that made my standing desk that I designed myself. I have a video of it on my channel, which I will link in the description box. This is the same woodworker that made Chandler's desk as well and all of our chests of drawers. Another receipt from the hardware store for the same bedroom renovation project and yet another one. I think this is when I exchanged a drawer slider because I purchased the wrong size. Another receipt from the woodworker. This is for Chandler's standing desk, I believe. And here's the receipt for his chest of drawers. A receipt for medication, a set of coupons from a shopping mall, all expired, of course. And I don't know what this is. This is a writing guide that I use to write on my journal when I'm writing on those personal sized blank Tomoe River paper sheets that I showed you near the beginning of this video. Here are some fold folders that I made out of larger plastic folders and those are all that was in that secretarial pocket. And now we go to what's on the rings. Here is a divider that I made out of the same plastic folder and it's labeled me and a clear PVC sheet and another divider labeled medical and there are some prescriptions inside and a card from one of my old HMOs. Here is a wellness scorecard sheet from work and it is only partially filled in because I relocated to a different branch. Here is a hormone related and medical related tracking monthly calendar that I have for all of 2018 and these are all filled out. The 2019 monthly calendars are also on here but clearly I haven't filled them out because I stopped using this planner on November of 2018. 
Here's a plastic pouch that has some Hyperdex sheets on it and also some of the side reminder tabs. I have explained the Hyperdex and these tabs on my video about how I plan and I will link that video in the description box. Another plastic pouch that has more of the side reminder tabs. And this is what I use the loose Hyperdex sheets for. This is the Hyperdex 7, by the way. Whenever I make a mistake, making a marking on the Hyperdex that's printed on my planner pages, I just cut out a portion from this separate Hyperdex sheet and paste the portion over the mistake on my planner pages. I have a lot of these because I make a lot of mistakes on my planner pages. And here are more of the side reminder tabs. Here is the rather complicated color code for the Hyperdex, and I also have a video about my color key, which I will link below. I also have this sheet of PVC that I use as a writing surface for my planner pages. This has a fold out because on my actual planner pages, I have a tip in for each week. Whenever I fold that out, it rests on top of this fold out here, so I have a stable writing surface. These are my monthly sheets for forward planning. Here is a divider labeled Jawide, and here is a clear pouch that used to contain a document, I think, but it's empty now. Here is a picture of Jawide, and another picture, a list of things to do, another picture of him, and on the back of it is a picture of our hands, and another list. Here is a divider labeled Chad. And inside it is a brochure from his clinical psychologist from school, a receipt for a uniform, and some of his assessments for school from 2018. And I don't know what this is. Now, this is very interesting. This is my packing list for the boxes that I packed in my office in Metro Manila and which were eventually brought to my parents' house. Cartons 1, 2, and 3, and 4 were brought by my brother because he was driving over from Metro Manila to the same city where my parents lived. And here is the packing list for my backpack and I have no idea why the name Everything Calligraphy is printed at the top. Usually that line is for when I'm where I'm going so it should have said Naga City instead of Everything Calligraphy. I have no idea why it says Everything Calligraphy. I also have this small page finder that I made out of a sheet of black plastic and here is a list of something and another packing list. I think this is the same as that last one because it also says everything calligraphy on the top. Those wait now I think I remember why it says everything calligraphy at the top. It's because these were the things that I had to bring to the third anniversary event of Everything Calligraphy. Okay, now I remember because um, these are the items that I actually brought to that event. I had a role in that event too. I was one of the people that were assigned to do tutorials for other people who are new to fountain pens. So that's why I had to bring some stuff. And this was the packing list for that event. I brought my... Uh, leather backpack. Well, I'm glad I'm starting to remember things now. <laughs> and these are our old cell phone numbers that have been discontinued in 2019 because we had our numbers changed and we did not renew our contracts. A drawing of a bag that I wanted to design but I don't know what happened to that. And these are notes from a class I sat in with two of my close friends at university. Some writing samples, Notes from a meeting at work. This is a list of the charges that my cell phone company kept charging me for and which I didn't subscribe to and which I didn't even use and they had to refund me these and they did but I didn't feel like staying long after this. Some measurements of something that I wanted to make. I don't know what this is. Another bag that I wanted to make. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is either. And here is a list of the things that I need to provide for myself. Here is a list of all gadgets that I have to plug in or charge because I was trying to figure out the cable management of the desk that I was planning to make for myself. 
and here's a list of something and here is the label on the two inch book rings that I always use for my archives. I bring this around and use it whenever I have to repurchase that. Measurements of the cabinets of my old dorm when I was planning to buy organizational containers. Another page marker, some quotes from Proust. And here is a rather long list of books that I wanted to buy. I didn't even get around to buying any of these and I have already changed in my mind and some of them. This list is very old. I don't know what this is. Here's a list of the specs that I was thinking of when I was seriously considering ordering a custom planner binder from Vanderspec. A plastic folder containing old low tone numbers. Clearly I didn't win anything. It's amusing that I labeled this finance. This clear pouch used to contain something I believe. Another plastic folder that has some loose receipts from my university. An old matriculation form. A summary of my grades. I just put this in here so I'm always reminded of my progress. 1.00 is the highest grade by the way. I'm quite proud of my grades. Here is a printout of a previous academic calendar and lastly here is a folder labeled to file and I have just some random things in here. Some receipts from my old dorm, a receipt from Western Union when I got my revenues from YouTube, a deposit slip, an old medical prescription, I don't know what these are, another receipt from my old dorm and another matriculation form. And now that the planner binder is empty, I can finally clean it because it has gotten dirty. I don't use baby wipes anymore because those are not biodegradable. I just use a spray bottle that has tap water in it and just use either toilet paper, toilet paper or a paper towel or some kind of tissue. And now I can finally put this in storage properly and I can sort through all those things I just took out and archive them. I love this planner binder so, so much. It has served me so well through thick and thin over the years. When I was sick, it managed all my medications and doctor's appointments. When I had a full schedule for work and school, this planner binder helped me to still function without being late for work and classes and deadlines. This planner binder is a gift from Deborah. She watched my video where I was saying that I wished I could find a planner binder that was compact sized or personal sized and had 40 millimeter rings, the largest available on any compact size planner at the time, but with a snap closure, not a zip around closure because I was using a zip around at the time and I found it inconvenient and the zipper also required that the binder be larger. And Deborah watched that video and then she messaged me saying she has a planner binder with those exact same features and she asked if I would like it. I said yes of course. You don't say no to things like that. <laughs> I have a video of when I first got this planner binder and watching it again gives me so much nostalgic feels. I will link it down below. Forever thank you to Deborah for this planner binder. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I had fun making it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.